So I've been playing around a lot with iOS 26 and I have to say there are some amazing new battery features that Apple added. Some of these are obvious, some of these not many people have paid attention to and I'd like to share with you five of my favorite new battery features inside of iOS 26. So let's start with number one, actually one of my favorite and I think this is going to be extremely beneficial for many of you and also this is maybe a little link and little indication with regards to Apple's thinner iPhone that will come very soon. And if you go into settings and then scroll to a battery right here, and then in here we scroll to the bottom to power mode, we were familiar with low power mode, but now we also have this new adaptive power mode. And what it's actually saying is when your battery usage is higher than usual, your iPhone will be able to make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life. And this includes slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. And yeah, this is actually using Apple intelligence or Apple's AI integrated in iPhone to give you the best power at that moment. Also, as you can read, low power mode may turn on at 20% automatically. So low power mode will surpass adaptive power mode. So definitely one of my favorite new additions and it's going to be helpful for many of you. Number two has to do with charging. And this is something we've been waiting for, I think for years now. Actually, there's a great way to demo this with the high rise 3 deluxe of 12 south the sponsor of this video I absolutely love this charger because you can charge your three apple devices the three main devices i use the most and these are obviously your airpods you can put them on the top then here you have a spot for your apple watch let's put that right here and then lastly you have obviously a spot for your iphone and this is great because this charge all your three devices at once and as you can see, it's MagSafe. So even if you want, you can put your AirPods on here as well and they charge pretty cool. And it basically supports all the iPhones with MagSafe. And the main charging puck here charges at 15 watts. The Apple Watch charger is a fast five watt charger and the AirPods charger in the back here is a 7.5 Qi certified charging spot. So great for your AirPods. Absolutely also great to have it as your standby nightstand charging next to you. So yeah, make sure to have a look at 12 South High Rise 3 Deluxe, but they also have other awesome chargers like the High Rise 2 and the Forte. So yeah, to demonstrate one of Apple's awesome new features, we have to go to the lock screen. You can exactly see the time to charge here. And you briefly see it there at the beginning, you can see how long it takes to charge to 80%. And as shown here, you can see now here that it's saying it needs 15 minutes to charge to 80%. So it's just great to immediately see on your iPhone how long it takes to charge to 80%. This brings us to the third new feature inside of the battery settings. So if we go back here to settings and then we go to battery and on top here, you see this new overview indicating how long it takes to charge to 80% but now also you can see how long it will take you to charge to 90% you will also see how long it will take to charge to 100% so let me briefly demonstrate also that this is going to adjust based on the power of your charger so this is a little bit of a more powerful charger and you will see different numbers here Boom, just like that, 10 minutes to 80%, 28 minutes to 90%. As you already saw here in the bottom, we also have a new a daily usage overview. This is actually really helpful because you're able to see the different days if your battery is performing normal, like average, or if there is something wrong, if you're using your battery more on a daily basis. These also will have different colors depending on the heavy usage. So let's say you're using your iPhone's battery heavy, this will turn to orange and as you can see here it's blue for lighter day ones to quickly make a comparison how you're using your battery throughout the week and you get this nice little message saying your daily usage for example are you using a similar amount of battery today as you're usually do by this specific time and lastly more specific with regards to apps you can actually see precisely the different apps and the usage of your battery so this is really useful to maybe analyze which apps are consuming 
more battery compared to others maybe then you can adjust the usage in that specific app or even delete it if it's maybe an app that's not functioning properly and then maybe re-download it again or update it yeah so this actually shows you when there are apps taking up a lot of your battery compared to the others and as you see here this looks pretty good you also see your home and lock screen how much that is taking and which thing inside of your home screen and lock screen is taking most of the battery so here it's the wallpaper for example and i really love these small little battery updates in ios 26 i think plenty of you will be extremely happy with these new updates so you can use your iphone longer especially for the people that maybe have an older iphone that are still going to be able to run ios 26 these are absolute game changers and so yeah i hope this was helpful make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon like this video and see you in the next one peace